Fertilizer use in Uganda remains low, yet soil fertility, which is crucial in boosting crop productivity, has declined. With the ever-growing population, the space for farming is reducing day by day, and it is therefore important that farmers get better yields even on small pieces of land through optimal use of fertilizer. This explains why CABI, National Agricultural Research Organization NARO, and University of Nebraska with support from AGRA developed a fertilizer optimization tool to help farmers get return on investing in fertilizer. Because of the fact that our soils, our farmers are not using fertilizers because they're saying that they're expensive. Well, by fertilizer I mean organic green, organic materials. So we came up with a tool to address the, the, the challenge of high cost of fertilizers. So we know that when you use the tool, it will select the crop, the most profitable crop on which to apply fertilizer, whether organic or inorganic, based on the price of the crop and the price of fertilizer. The why fertilizers, whether organic or inorganic, is because farmers have not been using fertilizers, and as a result of that, our soils are now very poor. They don't have nutrients. And so when the soil doesn't have nutrients, it means that farmers are going to get low yield. So to increase production, we need product, production, productivity enhancing technologies. Farmers should use good seeds and apply fertilizers to boost the production. In 2016, government enacted the fertilizer policy to facilitate its use as one of the soil fertility management practice and therefore the fertilizer optimization tool comes in handy to help farmers use fertilizer sustainably. Fertilizer strategy where we are now going to address some of the challenges to fertilizer use whereby these farmers, extension agents and their grain put dealers, people selling fertilizers, they have limited knowledge on fertilizers and also they have a problem of counterfeit mutual poly fertilizers on the market and also other challenges, the, the, the types of fertilizers we have are not a wide. In this regard, CABI, a national agricultural research organization, have engaged agricultural extension officers by training them on how best to help farmers benefit from the tool. We are, we are sharpening their skills in applying the fertilizer optimization tool with farmers so that the farmers can receive the corrective advice from them but they should also be able to follow up with the farmers. Each extension staff should still at least follow up with 10 farmers, follow up with them so that we get the results of the yields that the farmers realize after using the outcome from the tool. Indeed, after the training, the extension officers confess to having gained more knowledge and skills in using the fertilizer optimization tool. I've gotten more knowledge about the extension fertilizers. That's the trainings we had, looking at the photo only, but this time we've gone an extra mile into designing the paper version, into designing the calibration and how to advise the farmers, how should they best apply the fertilizers. Basically on the results we got from last season, in the plot of a quarter acre where we applied the DAP and the nitrogen, and having considered all the agronomical practices, planted two and a half kilograms and a quarter acre, we got 345 kilograms. Yet in the control plot of a quarter an acre, where we didn't apply any fertilizer, having planted the same quantity of seed, 2.5 kilograms, having for all the agronomical practices, we harvested 193 kilograms. This implies that these officers will now give adequate information and knowledge to farmers about fertilizer use. It is going to help my farmers not to waste money. Wasting money as in buying in excess of what they should buy. Because if the fort tells you you are supposed to apply let's say 12 or 20 kilograms of dark on maize, uh, what we know usually the farmers will go and buy a whole sack let's say it is 50 kilograms, and they will bring the whole of it to and, and apply it in whichever amount they, they, they want. So this tool is telling me you're going to apply, let's say, 20. So even after that, I, the, there is another tool also called the calibration tool that is going to help me know how much of that dab am I going to use and in which kind of container that is readily available to the person. So that is going to be 
Yeah. And also, the school is going to help the extension workers, the agriculturists, to tell the, the farmers exactly what they are supposed to, to use to put in as a fertilizers. Because farmers, you have, you have, there have been a situation where farmers have been going and buy a whole sack of dab or urea and use it maybe in a, less than an acre. But this tool is going, this tool it tells you that in such an acre, you are supposed to use this amount of programs at this rate. It is crucial that such technologies that can help farmers improve on crop production are promoted since agriculture is the backbone of Uganda's economy.